how do you know if you have a rare 2009 penny? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to make sure I'm missing any rare 2009 penny worth potentially thousands of dollars. Welcome back to Old Money Prices. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about rare coins and paper money, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into the video. So these 2009 pennies, are minted all around the US. You're either gonna have them from the Denver Mint, you can see that from the D Mint mark, they'll be from the Philadelphia Mint, which has no mint mark, and the big difference here is the fact that the ones from Denver are the business strike. Now, in high grade, these 2009 pennies can still be worth a few hundred dollars if you get them graded by NGC or PCGS, which are the two biggest grading companies. What we're really looking for here is a mint error. Now, technically, this does not exist just yet, but if a coin was found like this, and it's so possible for this to happen, this coin could be worth over $20,000. So essentially, this is what you want to be looking out for. All of these 2009 pennies that I'm showing you right now were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. If there was some reason for one of these 2009 coins from the Chronicle set, as you see right here, so these coins from the San Francisco Mint with an S mint mark are struck on a 3.1 bronze composition planchet. If there was some reason an error went through where one of these San Francisco minted coins were accidentally struck on a zinc composition coin, that that could mean the difference of tens of thousands of dollars. Now the chances of finding one of these is incredibly rare, but it is a possibility. Sometimes mint employees, while they're not supposed to, will intentionally make error coins that are worth a lot of money, and these can slip out into circulation. So again, these San Francisco minted coins have a specific type of material that they were minted on, and if they were accidentally struck on a different composition for the mint mark, you could have something worth a lot of money. So essentially what you want to be looking out for is a 2000 2009 Philadelphia or Denver minted penny that looks like this, but it's struck on a different type of planchet. If it looks different than this, there is a very small probability that you have this coin that I'm talking about. So keep your eyes peeled for anything that looks out of the normal from what I'm showing you here. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next video.